Hi everyone, I'm Jack Martin, and I'm here to take you through the time-traveling, sometimes two-named web of the La Brea family tree. Let's start with the Harris family. So Gavin is married to Eve, and they have two kids, Josh and Izzy. Hi, yeah. Eve and Josh fall through the La Brea sinkhole first in season one, but it gets even weirder from there because they meet a boy named Isaiah in 10,000 BC who's actually young Gavin and is raised by Silas, who we later find out is Gavin slash Isaiah's grandfather. Gavin's family is full of surprises. In season two, we learn that Gavin's mother is Dr. Caroline Clark, who helped build Lazarus, and who Josh learns is his grandmother when he goes back to 1988. Gavin's father, on the other hand, is James, who runs Lazarus and is full of surprises, like when he randomly told Gavin that he has a sister with his dying breath. Tell your sister I'm sorry I failed. What are you talking about? Okay, now back to Josh. So he's dating Riley, and her father is Sam. Speaking of fathers, Lucas is gonna become a father. Oh my. Because Veronica is pregnant with his baby. Cute. Yay. Veronica's father, well, fake father, who was Aaron, who kidnapped Veronica, and Ella, who was actually young Lily, and secretly kept a very important journal that could help everyone get home before he was murdered. Hmm. Sounds like karma to me. Death is just a part of life especially in 10,000 BC, when anything and everything can happen. Is that a T-Rex? Just ask Ty, who was sick with cancer and still got married to Para, whose ex-husband Tammet was an exile leader that Scott stabbed to death. And then there's Levi, who's Gavin's best friend from their Air Force days, who had an affair with Eve when Gavin went off the deep end, and who went to 1988 to rescue Josh and Riley, and who decided to stay in the 80s before returning from the 90s, revealing that he lost both a wife and daughter while he was gone. Oof, he's been through a lot. Now, I don't know how the cow is related to the saber-toothed tiger or the woolly rhino, but I'm sure there's some connection. And that's the La Brea family tree. It's like a regular family tree, but with portals, killer bees, and time travel. Oh my!